Good midnight, dudes and dudettes. This is Dudugeons here. I am so sorry that today's update is a little bit late. Because on a, I passed out after work because it's way too tiring. A, because our commercial unit AC is broken. So we sort of just worked in a very, very human and hot environment in LA. And for those of you who've lived in LA before, you will know that, well, it's very exhausting. And also because I think I indulged myself by eating too much uh, for dinner so that I just passed out. I'm so sorry. But before I start this video, I have a question for you guys. So let's just say if um, dude number two and I found a very top secret stuff, like top secret, top secret. We don't think we should post this content for the general public and we might just consider start a Patreon for it. Uh, it's gonna be sort of like a video series about five or six of them and at least two of them is gonna be about MMAT. So we're, we're saying or we're thinking about starting a Patreon. We're just wondering if any of you guys are gonna be willing to pay for that premium content. And I guarantee you guys it's gonna be worth it. But the only problem is when you when you start seeing certain things in a certain angle, your entire life is gonna be flipped. So that's the that's the uh, uh, that's the hard part about life, right? Sometimes we have a lot of knowledge, then a lot of things just doesn't seem right anymore, or it just doesn't seem as it just be, as things just becomes complicated. But anyways, let's get into today's video. And again, we are not financial advisors, therefore we do not give financial advice. And everything on this channel is for shits and giggles only. As you can see, today's MMT's pricing chart is, yeah, it's just just like every single day. You drop down by 10% and sort of have a pull up. And for those with DGENs out there just scoping this thing, you make about I don't know 10 cents a day probably. And then because you're doing that, you sort of like limited um, the breakout sort of momentum for everybody else because. For MMAT itself, we just literally don't have any momentum. Okay, let me show you something that's very interesting. So, let me put my little pan out. So, if you look at the morning chart, this is normal. Right? This happens every single morning. So you hit a temporary bottom, and you see the stock itself. If you look at the stock itself, uh, let's move this. The stock itself want to break out here. They want to break out here. And I think what the stock want to do is the stock generally, if the stock is a person, okay, let's just make it, um, it's like, you know, we, we say that cars are a girl or those kind of stuff. Let's just say the stock is a person. If the stock is a person with small volume increments build up, they literally want to break out of the $3.5 line. But it just, A, we don't have any sort of we have more upward pressure than our volume build up so when we hit sort of like the target mark that like we would hit around like 3.4 ish like either small increments of people just start selling off or we don't we we can generate enough buying pressure to push it up further right so then you see is all right if you cannot push up further it's like it's like say you guys go on a date, right? You go on a date, you go on a date, everything's going fine, everything's going fine, but you just cannot like push the last boundary and be like, you know, hey, you wanna go home with me? I know, I know, that sounds really creepy. But in reality, it's more like, it's more like the build up of like the physical contacts and the build up of, of like whether you are blunt or whether you're brave enough to sort of ask the girl if the girl wanna go home with you, right? But if you don't ask that, and sometimes like you're at the threshold where you should ask her to go home with you, but you didn't, and then you lost the chance for like this cycle, right? There's also always gonna be a cycle. And you know, maybe um she's to have other guys line up like in the next few days that they have they have a date. It's it just it's the reality, guys. Like nowadays, the 21st century, the women are free, like they probably like date a couple of guys at the same time. So you just gotta be careful about that, okay? But then when you missed out out on a cycle then everything just go back to the normal or even go back to worst and then you see this pull down like that and then you hit like a bottom right but when you hit like almost three dollar bottom a lot of long-term holders or investors or they we sort of have like sculptors when they see it almost hits three dollars they will stop it they will stop it from hitting down and then they will let you build up 
So we build up another low volume over here, and then we sort of establish like a support around this line, right? Like $3.25. Because all of us know that if it falls down at $3.2, that means tomorrow it's gonna be a danger day that it might go down to like $2.79, okay? So tomorrow, like like my hypothesis for tomorrow, okay, is like this is why I don't really want to talk about predictions. Because when I talk about predictions, it's it's more like it's kind of sad, okay? Like, like, like. Let's just say we go down by to two point seven nine dollars, and then, and then, most likely, what's gonna happen tomorrow is gonna be a like sort of a low start day, cause it's Wednesday, you know. Every Wednesday, you know, if the, if the Federal Reserve have anything to say, people just panic, like. You know, a lot of money get pulled out. You know, what should, I, what should I have done? I should have just pulled out, like, most of the portfolio. But guess what? Like, you know, I invest too much in this this MMAT stuff with the PhD management. Um, I can't pull out because when you pull out, um, you know, your loss is realized. Before your loss is realized, it's still loss unrealized. So when you have loss unrealized, that means time can heal it, right, by time. Unless they do another reverse split then, you know. And in this weekend's uh, sort of worst worst scenario video, I am gonna lay out a worst 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 scenario. Let's just hope, fingers crossed that that never happens. But if that happens, then well, there's also other ways to deal with it, and then that way is kind of painful. Um, but at that point, DD is gonna turn dark, and when DD is turned dark, everybody's scared, okay? Because at that point, George is gonna be too desperate, and I don't think he's gonna be reaching out anytime soon because he's just stubborn like that. If he's stubborn like that, then there's nothing we can do. Because, um, as as you know, your mother or your parents or or just your boss or any of your mentor will tell you that you know the world's not gonna change for you, so we gotta change for the world, right? We gotta evolve. We gotta evolve. When we evolve, when we adapt, we can beat it. So when we adapt, at that point, I mean, I'm gonna tell you guys before we adapt, right? And then we're gonna have, we're gonna form a dynamic strategy to play along with momentum, either upside or with downside momentum. And uh, you know, maybe George's gonna hate us for it, but at that point, it's more of a betting for survival game. It's no longer a, you know, I support a company and then like you don't really do anything, that sort of game, okay? But that won't happen until another RS happens and we all don't want that to happen. So if he really want this things to go the way it should be, like, you know, we see a big green day and we see some institutional buy up or we see some institutional build up, he should take our offer, at least talk to us, or at least show the willingness that he's coachable. And for the comment, right, I don't, because I'm not going to edit, because I'm already late, like, on the timeline. Because, yeah, as you guys know, I'm actually from the future, and if I don't post this video, like, you know, early enough, that means I'm, I'm falling behind the timeline. There's some bad things going to happen in, uh, in the next few days. But anyways, um, some some people are commenting now and be like, stop being so arrogant and saying, like, George is uncoachable, and, uh, you know, like, I'm just being arrogant. But there are things that you guys don't know, and there's a things that I cannot post. Like, I literally can't. Like, it, it can only be Patreon content. Like, it's top secret content that um I can only post on Patreon or I can only post, like, for limited person to view. Um, okay, that's all I can say right now. Okay, I'm not going to give you any sneaky peeks or give you any idea of, of, of what I'm trying to uh, say. You know, there. But anyways, I think this is it for the video. And for those who are just playing scalping or fit playing a price range sort of um, move that... You know, 2.79, remember that number? Um, yeah, and you sort of like just set it, and then if it hits, just buy some, and just, you know, if you're just playing a sculpting game, then, you know, at some point tomorrow, it's going to hit like 3.25, right? Then you make what? Um, oh, you, ma you make more than 60 cents there. So, yeah. But, um... But by doing that, it kind of limits the the actual momentum of the stock. But anyways, a lot of people are doing scalping anyways. If 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 I have the liquidity, I will probably do that too. Because um, at this point where you know it's been it's been almost a month. It's it's almost been a 19 day trading cycle. It's almost been to the point where um, you know a lot of you or a lot of us, even though we posted a video about the quiet. 
period, but in reality, every company can establish their own quiet period sort of rules. And as far as I know, on um, George's compliance department isn't experienced enough to sort of do something about it, right? And also, um, uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about the <clears throat> the partnership with Convertro. I will make another video, like maybe tomorrow night or maybe like tomorrow afternoon about it. Um, it's not as simple as you guys think. Uh, just because they raise their earnings doesn't mean like George is actually gonna. Um, George does, you know, help them raise their earnings, but doesn't mean that George is actually gonna make a lot of money from this deal. If that makes sense. And for those of you who are really hopeful and thinking George is going to make money by the end, uh, by, by the beginning of 2022, or even by the end of 2022, that's a little bit naive. This company is still at a sort of like a startup stage, um, more like early growth stage. Let's just put it that way. Because um, as I said before, George, George's plans are sort of long term and the way how he lays it out, it sort of prolongs the cycle of it. And he doesn't capitalize on certain points where you can capitalize on on the investor relation or you can capitalize on a public momentum to push up your stock price so then you will have further financing rounds he doesn't do that if you go back and look at the history i don't want to go even any further on the management sort of uh, history because i think that's only for limited views only um because because um you know, I've been discussing this in my in in our Discord, and um, you know, a lot of you are like we we have no choice at this point, right? Because we we don't want our uh, loss to be realized, and a lot of us are really hopeful for this technology. But a lot of times, when you're running a company with 1990 tactics, and then you sort of have a 2030 tech, it's just painful to look at. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys on the upside. And if you haven't smashed the like button, keep that like button gr uh, not green, blue, and just make sure that you smash that thing. Okay, and if you haven't sub, 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 because we talk about premium content. And I think one of the major difference between us and a lot of other streamers is we have, we have. <coughs> Not only finance related degrees, but also uh, finance uh, related background, finance experiences. We have a mentor that who's been in sort of industry for a long, long, long time. And, um, and I've been active trading for a long time. Like I started paper trading, like when I was, when I was not even at legal age, I started paper trading. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'll see you guys on the upside. Well, for those of you who are trying to accuse me of a FUD or just trying to accuse me for a party cooper, if you look at the weekly chart, the selling pressure actually contracted over the past few weeks. As we predicted because of the sort of, you know, the uh, the amounts after merger sort of thing. Eventually, the thing's gonna, you know, die down on either momentum, either selling or buying momentum. Uh, there are examples, right? For example, you can go look at Newegg. You can go look at, um, but you know, but the other two examples won't be like you know mer anywhere merge related. If you look at Clove or if you like look at BB, you know, all my predictions came true. I think just something is off with this MMAT thing that somehow my uh, my mojo isn't back really. But um, if we look at the weekly chart. You will see that selling pressures are dying down, and then buying. Pro the only problem is buying pressure isn't like building up. But in one of a parallel universe, because um, if we know metaphysics, and I strongly believe in that, and quantum mechanics, we will know that multiverse will probably exist in this timeline. So if there's a multiverse, then there's one of them that tomorrow we're gonna see a huge upside to four point two dollars. But that means that. This probably is going to be a 31% increase, which in terms of a probability of distribution, eh, the probability of that is quite low. But the only advantage we have is if I took my little pen out, literally there's nothing stopping the price going up from literally $3.25 all the way up to $4.5. This range is smooth as butter. Okay, this range is actually smooth as butter. You're just pumping a pump, you're just pumping some volumes in. Let's just say like, you know, <clears throat> pumping like, uh, I don't really want to give a precise number, but if you're just pumping the numbers in, 
like not even a huge volume spike, just a small volume spike that's sort of more than mm, the other two trading days combined, or even just a little like a proportional increase. This is gonna be so smooth as butter. This stock, it's uh, w when everybody's ready, when you know some big players coming in, they just want some cheap chips. This is it. Like they pick up at three dollars. And then it's going to be smooth as butter all the way to 4.5, even to all the way to $5.8. It's literally just smooth sailing all the way. And, and until you hit 6.2 ish dollars, then you will hit some resistance, okay? And then, and then when you want to break out of that to $7, you will hit a major resistance line. And then after 7, 8 is easy. And then 8.5 is sort of like, eh, that sort of thing. All right, this is it. I know. This is just some treat for those of you who actually stay until the end.